Good afternoon, Ade, and welcome to our studios here in London. Good afternoon, Gilbert, and nice to be here. Great. Um, on behalf of the European, it is a pleasure to be awarding you Guarant and Guarantee Trust Bank with most innovative bank of the year in Sierra Leone and yourself best banker in Sierra Leone. Congratulations for your achievements. Thank you very much. On behalf of the entire board of directors of Guarantee Trust Bank, the management of the bank and the entire staff, I'd like to express the appreciation of the bank for this award. It definitely um, is a testimony of all the products we have put into the market and it would definitely ensure that we continue to put our innovative processes in our operations. Thank you. Of course. Well done again. Guarantee Trust Bank Sierra Leone is a subsidiary of Guarantee Trust Bank PLC Nigeria. For the past 13 years, GT Bank Sierra Leone has been providing personal, business and other key banking services to its clients. Its growth has been exceptional, making it Sierra Leone's third largest bank, if the latest performance indices, in fact, are anything to go by. Seen as an industry leader, GT Bank is renowned for its exceptional financial performance, standards of service, innovation, professionalism and excellent business ethics. This is a bank which is showing no signs of slowing down and it's already on course to fulfil its growing strategic aspirations. Well, for more on GT Bank Sierra Leone, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined in the studio by Ade Adabie. He is the Managing Director of the bank. A very good day to you and thank you so much for joining us. I mean, thank you. If you had to describe the bank's core values, what would you say they are? And how do they set you apart from other banks in Sierra Leone? Thank you, Julia. I think one of the cardinal points, things that actually sets GT Bank Sierra Leone, and indeed other GT Bank subsidiaries apart from the peers, is the fact that we're very principled organizations and we like to do things properly in any, of, any environment we operate in across Africa. The orange rules are cardinal principles that actually binds the way we do business on an everyday basis. They range from professionalism through to customer service, friendliness, innovative. We try to be innovative in the products that we actually push into the market, being first to the market. Simplicity, excellence, social responsibility, and trustworthiness. These are the values that I believe sets us apart and has actually put us in the forefront of the banking industry in Sierra Leone. Apart from these values, I think we also pay particular attention to the efficiency of our operations and we always lay emphasis on optimal cost to income ratios. And so, yes, you mentioned the fact that we are the third largest bank in Sierra Leone. That's and true. growing all the time. Yes, that's true. However, for the past three years, we have been the most profitable in terms of return on equity. And so whilst we like size, we prefer profitability. I'd like to pick up on that point that you made about the size of a business, because that's quite unusual in banking, as everybody wants to be first. Yes, um, when you compare size and profitability, um, they're two different things. Whilst we want to grow bigger, we want to make sure that our operations remain efficient. Um, in a country like Sierra Leone, um, I wouldn't really um, emphasize on brick and mortar expansion. I would emphasize on technology expansion. So whilst I grow bigger in terms of balance sheet, I want to be able to keep my operations lean. Because like I said, the focus of the bank is to remain efficient and to ensure that we keep our cost to income ratios at very optimal level. So whilst size is good, profitability would always win at any point in time. Mm. And where does corporate social responsibility fit into this? Because I know that it's an issue which you care very strongly about. So why do you think it is worth prioritizing and, and how do you think it's helped the bank get where it is today? I did mention um, one of my points of the orange rules is that um, we are very involved in social responsibility and Julia the reason is not far-fetched in any environment we're operating we like to give back to the society 
It's our way of saying thank you. Now, particularly more in Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone has developmental challenges. And we see CSR, social responsibility, as a way of touching the lives of people in the country. Now, we believe that um, one of the quickest way and the fastest way to actually speed up economic development is through education. And so over the past three years, our CSR objective have always been on education. In 2015, just to mention a few, um, we built and we equipped one of the biggest primary schools in Freetown called Maranatha School. That was in 2015. In 2017, we did a similar thing to the oldest primary school in Freetown called St. John's, where we refurbished the school. This year, 2018, you must have heard of the power challenges in Africa. Yes. We actually did buy them a big generator to help them so that at any point in time, they actually um, connected to the grid. Social responsibility has helped us to connect deeply, strengthened our relationship with our customers, and at the end of the day, it has actually resulted in stronger brand loyalty. And sends out a very powerful message as well to other banks in the region. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. And we like to look at ourselves as um, a pace pace setter in that, um, in that regard. Clearly, you're doing something right because the bank has won quite a few awards. For example, it's won Most Innovative Bank of the Year Award. You yourself, recognised as Managing Director here, Banker of the Year in Sierra Leone. And th that, of course, has come courtesy from the Europeans, so well done. But what do these awards mean to the company? And what image do they project, not just to the business sector in Sierra Leone and the African content, or continent, I should say, but beyond? Thank you. Um, I think the awards mean a lot to the organization. And I think the first point is that um, it gives us a recognition and it gives us the impression that we are doing something right. And we see the award as a recognition of the customer values that we add, the values we are able to add to our customers. Um, for us, we take this as a point to actually do more work because the, re the reward they say for work, hard work is more work. So apart from the recognition, we believe that it also gives us, it gives the brand a confidence boost. It also makes sure that we now have to ensure that we continue in terms of our innovative processes so that we are able to develop products that even goes a step further that wraps around the lives of our customers. So it's a spur to achieve more. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. I mean, look, it's, it's quite fascinating what you've done. And I love the company's motto as well, which is a question. Wouldn't you bank with us? <laughs> yes, because we believe that wouldn't you rather bank with us is that we have provided the products out there. And we believe that those products are second to none. So wouldn't you rather bank with us and go elsewhere? A lot of banks talk about customer relationships and the importance of this issue, you guys practice it. So what do you think that you guys are doing that perhaps other banks can learn? Because clearly you've worked it out. Thank you. Um, the strength we believe of um, our customer relationships is the fact that we consistently try to make sure that they have um, positive customer experiences. Um, of course, a happy customer is important in the banking world today. Why do I say that? Because banking is becoming very competitive. Mm, and very and so regulated as well. Very regulated. And one of the things we try to do as a bank is to ensure that we continue to innovate, to ensure that we provide products that will ensure that customers continue to have these um, positive experiences. Um, we also believe that um, banking today um, even has more deeper competition with the disruption of the fintechs who have come into banking with their digital technology innovation. And so it actually gives um, the bank more of a reason to ensure that we are producing, we are, we are, we are getting more innovative in ensuring that we provide products 
because the expectation of the customer is actually getting more. So you need to provide products that will wrap around their lives, you know, based on the fact that the products you produced before have to be improved. It has to be integrated with the lifestyle of these um, customers. So um, as a bank, the innovation we need to continue to put um, in place to ensure that we put those products out there. Mm. I mean, from this relationship that you have with, with your customers, what would you say are the big issues for them, the major consumer issues, and how do you go about identifying them and implementing the response? Good technology is part of it, but it also encompasses much else, doesn't it? Yes, um, in Sierra Leone, um, I think one of the main customer issues we have is the fact that the extent of financial inclusion is very low. And even the central bank of the country has picked this up. Let me give you some statistics. Um, Sierra Leone, the population currently is just over 7 million people. 60% of those in terms of age demography falls between the ages of 18 years old to 70 years old. So we have a banking population of about just over 4 million people. Now, in the whole country, with the 15 banks, we have a total of 400,000 customers. That gives you the impression that there is a depth for financial inclusion. So given that opportunity and the fact that there is, given that opportunity and the fact that um, there is a benefit in the in, pro, in getting a pool of cheap retail deposits. Mm -hmm. One of the um, objectives of the bank for the medium term is to make sure that we actually do mass retail acquisition through robust technology platforms. Now, um, one of the ways we would like to do this is to ensure that we partner with the telecommunications companies. Why do I say that? The telecommunication companies have a customer base of close to about 4 million of the 7 million. Why? Because a lot of people have phones. Yes, phone so, banking. <laughs> phone banking. So how do we tap into that? Those are the areas that we want to look at to ensure that we are able to provide financial inclusion by collaborating with the telecommunications companies. We can get to those unbanked people in the remotest areas of Sierra Leone to ensure that we are able to increase our customer base beyond what it is currently, thereby achieving both the government's objective of financial inclusion and also the bank's objective of mass retail acquisition. Because mm, certainly you can actually introduce more financial products which are, are catered to that market that perhaps has felt estranged outside the conventional banking system as well. Precisely, precisely. If you and I are talking in five years' time, what sort of a business will we be talking about? Because you have achieved so much in 13 years. Clearly, you're not happy because there's still a pretty long way to go. So what will we be talking about? Today, definitely we want to continue to dominate the market. Um, we want to be able to achieve our objective of mass retail acquisition. We want to be able to achieve the government's objective of financial inclusion. I'll give you some numbers. Today, the bank has 150,000 unique customers. In five years' time, by 2023, I want to increase that figure to 3 million customers. So 150,000 customers is what was achieved in 13 years. In the next five years, we want to grow that to 3 million customers. How do we intend to do that? We want to do that using digital platforms, using e-platforms. One other thing that is actually predominant in the Sierra Leone market is the fact that cash is still the main source of economic exchange. In the past few years, we have been able to achieve migration of some of these customers from cash into e-platforms. In the next five years, we want to be actively involved through business promotions, through advertisement, to ensure that we are able to migrate more customers. That way, we have more customers relying less on cash. Mm. 
we have more customers that are in the banking system. And so in the next five years, we want to ensure that financial inclusion objective is achieved and we have a wide customer base. I have a feeling you will succeed. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much, Julia. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you.